Hi friends, this is the math lesson for second grade. This is unit four, lesson 17. Today we are going to continue practicing the adding up method. We have six word problems to solve. If you would like to solve them all on your own and then come back and check your answers, you may do that. If you want to stay with me, that's totally fine. At the end of the lesson, you have some adding and subtracting to do. My one um, piece of advice to tell you is make sure that you are showing your new groups for your adding and that you're sh showing your ungrouping when you subtract. All right, let's get started. So Justin reads 27 comics. Trina reads some comics. In all, they read 86 comics. How many comics does Trina read? So we're going to do it just like we did yesterday. We're going to set up our problem as we read it. So we start with 27. Trina reads some comics, and I'm trying to figure out in all how many they read. So I know that's going to tell me that I'm adding. I know Trina read some, and then I have an 86 for the total. So remember, I'm either going to add um, tens, or I can add the ones to get to the same ones. Remember, my preference is to add tens or to add 20 if it's a big number. And a 27 to 86 is a pretty big number. So let's start by adding 20. So 27 plus 20, that gives us a total of 47. Remember, I'm trying to get all the way to 86. So I'm going to go 47, and let's add another 20. That gives us 67. Still not quite there, but I'm getting pretty close. So I'm going to add 10. And now I get 77. And 77. If I add 10, that will get me to 87. So instead, I need to add one less than 10, which would be 9 to give me a total of 86. Now remember, we're not quite done yet. We need to add what is in the middle to get our answer. So we have 20 plus 20 is 40, plus 10 more is 50, plus nine is 59. So 59, and our label is comics. Again, at any time, if you want to try these problems on your own, feel free to pause the video and then check your answers when you are done. All right, number two. Maya and Philip draw 73 pictures. Maya draws 38 of the pictures. How many pictures does Philip draw? So we know that we, with the adding up method, we are missing a partner. And we know that they're drawing a total of 73 pictures. We know that Maya draws 38. So if we were to write our problem as we read it, we would actually start with 73 minus 38 equals a box, right? That's how we would set up this problem. However, since we are doing the adding up method, we need to get it set up. We need to set it up as an adding problem with our box in the middle. So when I'm adding, I'm going to start with my partner of 38. And then I have my box in the middle and I end with my total. Now I can start to add my numbers. I know that 38 is pretty far away from 73, so I'm going to add 20 and hope that gets me a little bit closer. So 38 plus 20 is 58. And now I'm going to start adding 10s. So 58 plus 10 is 68. And now I just need to get to 73. So I'm going to pull out my hundreds chart. I'm at 68. If I want to get to 73, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 68 plus 5 equals 73. And I'm not done yet. i got to add up what's in the middle. So 20 plus 10 is 30, plus 5 is 35. So Philip draws 35 pictures. All right, let's keep on going. 
Number three, there are 82 birds in the zoo. The zoo gets some more birds, and now they have 100 birds. How many birds does the zoo get? So let's set up our problem as we read it. We start with 82. The zoo gets some more. So that's adding in a box. And now they have a total of 100. Now, if you've been practicing your math facts, you might already know the answer to this, but we still need to show our work. So for this problem, because getting to 100 is a little bit easier, I'm actually going to add my ones first. If I want to try and get to a friendly number like 90 and I'm at 82, I can just add my ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I add eight, I'll get 90. Now I can go from 90 to 100 very easily. So this is one of those ways that you can add the ones first to get to a friendly number or to match your ones town. However, I do think that it ends up being just a little bit more confusing. This one wasn't that confusing because we are just going to 100. When I add up 8 plus 10, I get a total of 18. So 18 birds was what the zoo got. All right, the last one that we're going to try together is number four. Mrs. Clark has 94 pens. She gives some pens to her friends, and now she has 75. How many pens does Mrs. Clark give away? So I'm going to set it up as I read it. 94, she gives some away, and now she has 75. Well, we know that when we're doing adding up method, we need an addition equation, or an equation with an addition sign, rather. So I'm going to have, I need to switch my two numbers and I need to change my sign. So I'm going to have 75 plus box equals 94. Now 75 is pretty close to 94. So I'm just going to add 10 and I get 85. And I know that if I have 85 and I want to get to 94, let's pull out the hundreds chart, 85. If I add 10, that's too many, but if I add one less, that's the perfect amount. So one less than 10 would be nine, and I get 94. That's what I wanted to get. Now when I add these together, I get a total of 19. So Mrs. Clark gave 19 pens away. All right, great, great work so far, friends. Let's keep on going. We have two more word problems to solve, and we're going to set these up, and then I'm going to have you practice them on your own. So Austin has 54 crayons. His sister gives him some more crayons. Now he has 82 crayons. How many crayons did the sister give him? So let's, set, let's write it as we read it. So 54, his sister gives him some more, so plus and a box, and now he has 82. So I want you to pause the video and work on this problem on your own. All right, friends, how did you do? I hope you got it. Now you can add any numbers you want in the middle and you'll still get the same answer. So I'm gonna add 10 and I get 64. I'm gonna add 10 again and I get 74. I'm gonna add 10 again and I get 84. Oh, that's too many. So if I'm at 74 and I need to get to 82, let's see how many it takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight right here, that gives me 82. Then I'm gonna add up what I have in the middle, 10, 20, 28. So no matter, how you did it in the middle, you should have gotten 28 crayons. Now, if you did not get this answer, please make sure that you find your mistake. All right, last word problem. In Robert's classroom, there are 39 books on a red shelf. There are some books on a green shelf, and there are 78 books on the two shelves. How many books are on the green shelf? So we're going to set up this problem as we read it, and then you're going to try it on your own. 
So we have 39 on the red, some are on the green, and there are 78 in all. So go ahead and solve this problem. You might wanna add some 20s because 39 is pretty far from 78. Pause the video. All right, friends, how did you do? Let's see. So 39 plus 20 equals 59. If I add another 20, that's gonna get to 79. So that's a little too much. So 59 plus 10 equals 69. And 69 plus, I'm trying to get to 78, so 69. If I add 10, that gives me to 79. So I got to back up one, that would be nine. So 78, add up what's in the middle. So we have 20 plus 10 is 30, plus nine is 39. So 39 books. All right, so 28 crayons, 39 books. Go ahead and pause the video and do the adding and subtracting. When you're done, press play and we will check the answers. All right, let's go over the answers. So we have two plus zero is two, two plus three is five, seven plus three is 10, new group, one plus one is two for 20, one plus four is five, five plus three is eight, six plus nine is 15, new group, one plus nine, one plus eight is nine. Now switching to subtraction. Zero minus eight, can I do it? No, go next door. Can't do anything there because no one's home. Go next door again. Cross off the one, change to a zero and bring back 10. Cross off the 10, change it to a nine and bring back 10. Now I can subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 6 is 3, and always double check that there's nothing left in your hundreds town. So an answer of 32. Number 12, 2 minus 5, can I do it? Nope, go next door. Cross off the 8, change it, cross off the 9, change it to an 8, and bring back 10. 12 minus 5 is 7, 8 minus 1 is 7 as well, so an answer of 77. Number 13, I can't do three minus seven, so I go next door, cross off the eight, change it to a seven, and bring back 10. 13 minus seven is six, seven minus seven is zero, so your answer is six. You do not have to write that zero. And last but not least, we have four minus nine, I can't do it, so I go next door, cross off the five, change it to a four, and bring back 10. 14 minus nine is five, and four minus two is is two for an answer of 25. So here are all the answers for page 202. If you need to pause the video and check. And here are all the answers for page 201. If you need to pause the video and check. All right, friends, that is it for our lesson today. Great job. We'll see you later.